Alrighty, so in today's video, we're going to be comparing the flashing speeds of these three tools. So before we get started, I'm going to mention what ones we're going to use. We're going to use Bolana Etcher, Raspberry Pi Imager, and also USB Imager. I personally use Bolana Etcher and a Raspberry Pi Imager a lot, but I actually have not really used USB Imager. So I'm interested to see which one is going to be the fastest because I get asked this question a lot. And for this test, I am going to be using the same exact SD card for all these tools. It's a SanDisk Pro. And we're going to be using the same computer and we're going to flashing one at a time. I will be timing this on my phone and just to see, get an accurate result of which tool is actually the fastest available to flash our SD cards. And as my operating system, I am going to be using 64 bit Raspberry Pi OS because that's really what I have downloaded. But the operating system really doesn't affect the results that much. But before we get started, let's start with Raspberry Pi Imager. Let's launch it right here and let's just test it out and see which one really is going to be the fastest. So right here, we're going to choose OS. I'm going to go custom because I don't want the download speeds to affect the thing. So right here, I have 64-bit Raspberry Pi OS. Open, choose storage device, my SD card, and I'm going to click right. I'm going to click yes, and I'm typing my password right now, and I'm going to start the timer right now. I'm going to hit enter, and I'm going to start. And yeah, so now we'll start timing, and we will see the results when this thing is done. Alrighty, so the write is successful, and when I look at my timer right now, it finished in 8 minutes and 41 seconds. So my SD card obviously is not the highest tier, and it is kind of a low-end SD card. It's not the most it's not the best one that is why it didn't get the best speeds but i'm interested to see if etcher or let's say usb imager can actually beat it so i'm formatting my sd card real fast right here and then we'll see and the reason that i'm not using like a usb driver and ssd is because most people who use their raspberry pi actually do use sd cards so i wanted to make it a bit more realistic but now for the next test let's use bolana etcher let's open up etcher right here and we click i don't know why i did that Click open, and then we will be testing out Bolan Etcher with the same file and the same USB stick, so our SD card. Choose my ARM64 Raspberry Pi OS, open, select target, choose my SD card right here, and I'm going to click flash the same way I did to my other device. I'm going to click flash, type in my password real fast, and then we will be going. Alrighty, so I'm clicking OK and starting the timer right now. Alrighty, so my Bolena Etcher Flash just ended, and Bolena Etcher flashed it to my USB or my SD card in about 7 minutes and 45 seconds, while Raspberry Pi Imager did it in 8 minutes and 41 seconds. There's almost a 1 minute difference in between these. This is pretty significant. I was actually really surprised when I saw Bolena Etcher did it almost a whole minute faster. So that is actually really cool, but I'm excited to see how fast USB Imager is actually going to do it because it looks like a much more lightweight application. So now let's go over it and I already formatted my SD card and let's launch USB Imager. But what's kind of weird on my Mac right here, the only way I can launch USB Imager is from the terminal with using sudo. Because otherwise it doesn't work correctly, but that's only on my MacBook. I think it would work on any other device normally as well. Hit enter right here, I have to type in my password as well. And then we'll start flashing with the USB Imager and actually see how fast it does. So you see right here, the graphical user interface of this application is a lot older. It doesn't look modern, but it might be a lot faster. I'm going to choose my 64 bit Raspberry Pi OS right here, click open, and my device is already selected right here. I'm going to click write, and it's going to write it to my SD card. And I'll serve the time immediately. And yeah, so you see it's going to start flashing right now. Any time it first says a lot of minutes, but it definitely does get a lot faster. So we'll see actually how fast this thing works. So as you can tell right here, it says right here, done image written successfully in 8 minutes and 44 seconds. So I want to mention the three ones that won here. So Raspberry Pi Imager took 8 minutes and 41 seconds. So USB Imager is in last place with taking 3 seconds longer than Raspberry Pi Imager. It's actually really similar. And then Etcher is at the top right here, way far ahead of everyone else with almost a whole minute above both of these other flashings. So that is actually really interesting to see that the most heavy application built on Electron is actually the fastest flasher for our operating systems for our Raspberry Pi 4. So I was honestly really 
surprised to see the results of this thing. I saw, I thought USB Imager would actually be one of the more faster ones, but it turned out to be one of the slower ones and then the slowest. So what ones will I be using on a daily basis? Well, I will continue to use Etcher and Raspberry, Raspberry Pi Imager. Raspberry Pi Imager is slower, but it has all these amazing features like being able to flash the operating systems without having to download them separately. That's what I really love about Raspberry Pi Imager. They have all the applications already in here, so it's really easy to choose whatever operating system you want, choose it and flash it. And I also really like the new editing place where we can enable Wi-Fi, enable overscan, stuff like that. It's just really helpful to, and that is why I continue to use Raspberry Pi Imager. And Etcher, well, Etcher is also just an amazing application. And if I already have my operating system downloaded and I want speed, Etcher is for me because it will flash it super fast and it is just amazing. So these three applications are pretty similar in speed, but Etcher is definitely pretty ahead of all these applications. So tell me down below in the comments which one you use the most. And if you thought this test was accurate or if you'd like to see more tests like this but yeah it would be amazing if you could subscribe or hit that like button and yeah so